Hello and welcome. I'm Amethyst Moonflower and welcome to my channel. Thank you all for joining me and today we're going to be doing um, a magical plan with me for the month of March in 2021. And before we get started on the planning part and stuff like that, I figured I would go ahead and walk you through what I already have in my planner and kind of the concept of this planner. Um, I, I love planning and usually I would go out and buy a whole brand new planner for the new year and everything like that, but this year I decided to um, create my own planner and use things that I already have laying around and stuff like that. So I kind of just, I went on the computer and I made my own pages as well as reusing old planners and papers and things that I already have laying around so that I'm not going out and spending any money on new supplies because it's something that is a kind of a goal for mine this year. I have a lot of supplies. I have a lot of things that I've already purchased and instead of buying more, I just wanted to use up what I have laying around. So I already bought this binder and it's a two inch binder that I really, really like and it's a three ring binder. So what I did was I took the Moon Child Happy Planner as well as the Stargazer Happy Planner that I bought for 2020 and reused a lot of the parts inside of those planners to create a new planner for 2021. So these were kind of like the page inserts for the larger Happy Planner, the Moon Child one, as well as the cover and I just... For a lot of the things that I kept from those planners because the way that they're hole punched for the for the discs, I would just taped over the that end and then hole punched it to fit in this binder. And um, so yeah, that's the cover that I kept. And I also made my own entry page 2021 on black paper with white gel pen. And when you open it up, this is kind of like my phrase for the year. You are made of stardust. And it's it's kind of a uh, link to a big project that I have planned for me to work on this year. So this, this uh, phrase has a lot of meaning for me. And I also uh, used a lot of Happy Planner note paper throughout this um, notebook as well. Where I just, you know, use clear tape to cover up those binds and then hole punched it and then I some of them I used this um, hole punch reinforcement sticker just to make sure that it was going to be sturdy which it it worked really well and then I just used some washi tape and some stickers that I already had and this was from the um, the smaller stargazer um, planner paper that was inside of it for 2021 so instead of writing it all out I just went ahead and reused that and I made um, a vision board which has I drew out some things that I really wanted to focus on and you know manifest for my year ahead and then I've made um, my goals page business goals family goals and personal goals for the year then you know some savings goals and a wish list and then oh, also books to read which I haven't gotten around to filling out yet I, I have a list of books that I want to buy and read and I just have to fill it out and then I'm su supposed to color them in as I read them so we'll, we'll see how much I get done this year and then some creative projects that I want to work on and get completed as well for the year and try and get ahead for next year and then a bucket list for my family you know things that I would like to do with my family this year and then um, this free page that I found on the computer that I just printed off and threw in here because you know it's it was free and it was nice so the phases of the moon every month for 2021 and then I also have just um, Earth Star Tribe events. This is a local pagan witch group that I'm a part of. That and these are all of our meetings for the year, in-person meetings. So and that so this is the beginning section, the year ahead section, I guess you could say, or whatever 
I don't know what you call it, but it's this is kind of functions similar to a bullet journal, but instead of buying a bullet journal, I'm just using paper that I already have in my collection as well as a lot of, you know, um, I have an abundance of computer paper and things like that, so I'm just using what I have. And then I reuse all of the um, Happy Planner divi monthly dividers. And because they like to plan, or, uh, print the half of the month ahead on the back of the divider, I just took the mini, or I guess it's not the mini, the classic size um, of the Stargazer and just taped it over so you don't see that, that st out of date calendar stuff and I can reuse these dividers every year. And then I also made for each month a larger um, moon calendar which I do have available as a printable download on my website that you can purchase if you if you like what I've done here um, each month has its own calendar and I have the new moon and the full moon and then sometimes I'll have like you know um, date important dates and things like that written in here but I try not to take up too much space so that you can't fill it out for yourself but yeah I made all of these by hand and you're they're available for purchase on my website and then I have the full calendar here and then it goes into a content schedule for all the things that I'm working on in my you know my business and creative projects here and then I have a musical playlist which for January I just have uh, tickets to my downfall MGK's full new album that was pretty much the only thing I listened to for like that whole month I love that album so much and then I also have uh, January new moon and full moon journal pages which I didn't fill out for January I didn't get around to filling them out but um, yeah these are also things that I have made as printables on my website that if you like you can get those as well and then I all the this is what I made on the computer I made the this monthly goals grid for professional personal family and spiritual and just so that I could if I felt like I wanted to I could write those down they're available as well as you know and then I also created on the this part I didn't. I, I missed a page on here, but uh, I um, went on Excel and I just made a grid for planning and I just made the col I like the column style. So I went with the column style and then did Monday through Sunday and then a note section on the side here. And then I can do my, my weekly planning like this. And I didn't include the dates when I printed it off because I figured I just do Monday through Sunday and then when I put it in the book I can write down the fill that part out myself that way I didn't have to make custom pages for each month I just wanted to have a simple thing that I could print out and then fill out as I needed for each month so yeah just a little bit of uh, working around the Excel and I ended up making my own planner and so I didn't have to go out and buy a new planner. And then for February, I pretty much did the same thing, you know, kept the happy planner dividers here for the month. And then I have another um, moon calendar page here, which you can see I have in bulk written down as well as Valentine's Day. And then it goes into pretty much the same. And I like it because it allows me to be creative sort of like a bullet journal but I'm using the computer paper that I already have laying around and this one I did fill out which I really like working in and then this one I haven't done yet because the full moon is for a few more days but I'll, I'll be sure to do that and then also I created these kind of function like bookmarks so that I can find where I'm at this is the week that I'm on right now the last week of February and then I this includes my daily workflow things that I like to work on you know try to work on every day cleaning schedule for the week my magical morning routine and evening routine so 
That way I don't have to write this stuff down every day and I can just use them like a, like a bookmark and switch them for every week that I'm working on. So that's kind of what I have going on. Like I said, I'm using everything that I already have and I think it's going pretty well. And so now since we're on the last month or last week of February, we're going to be working on planning out for March. And I already have selected my four colors, my little color theme that I'm going to be working with while filling out my pages. And this I already gridded out with pen, but I still have to grid out all this stuff as well as color in with using all my colors to color in all this stuff and make it look nice and pretty before I get started on filling out the actual information. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, or what I'm going to be working on and you can watch me or plan along with me. And I figured I'd go ahead and show you things that you might need. I have here some super tips. This is the 100 kit box. I find this super helpful. Uh, great, great quality, affordable, you know, and nothing super fancy. I also have, you know, my big pin collection here for when I'm filling everything out. You know, these are great to have around, you know, markers and pens and white out. And then also I got some post-it notes in different sizes and colors. I got my washi tape. I don't have a big washi tape collection. I, I just have this little collection here, but that's enough for me. And then I also have a bunch of stickers that I've collected over the years, planner stickers. I, a lot of them are Happy Planner brand, but some of them aren't. Like, these are just Walmart brand. And you can find these everywhere. You can find the ones you like, work with what you like, what you have already laying around. And then maybe a ruler is useful too for, you know, getting everything planned out and drawing your lines and everything like that. Oh, and I'd also like to mention that even though this is my planner, I do have this um, notes and things journal that I picked up for really cheap at Michael's. It's got two ribbons, which is nice, and this little elastic to keep it closed. And it's just a simple little dotted notebook that I use just to really write down my thoughts and make lists and things like that so you know I not everything has to be my planner a lot this is just like a brain dump journal so that I can you know get all the extra stuff out of my mind but yeah that's where we're at and what I'm going to do is because I don't like working on top of the three ring binders, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to remove the entire month of March and then get my planner out of the way so that I can get started on working on my pages. And this is where, um, if you want to pause the video and gather up all your supplies and so that you can work along with me, you can, and if not, then just I hope that you enjoy watching me color in and fill out my pages for the month of March. Okay, so here I'm going to just get started on coloring things in. This is where it gets really simple for me anyway. I already took the time to draw out the month ahead and get everything dated how I like it. So now I can just work on making it look nice. And you can do this however you however you want. But I'm just going to take my dark teal here and just write March. And then I'm going to just put 20 21 over here. And then I like to, I'm going to take these two colors, my lighter color and then the, this color here, and I'm going to color in my days. And then I just, this, is, this to me is the fun part. And then I'm um, already gritting it out and everything, you know, I don't like to have my um, 
calendar overly pretty to up just because you know for me I want it to look nice but I also want it to stay functional I don't want it to be so overwhelming and have too much pressure on myself to be overly artsy and stuff like that with my planner because if I get too overly artsy I'm just gonna be here literally all day long and I'm not trying to be perfect I'm not trying to impress anybody because honestly I mean it's really just about it does it work for you you know and everybody kind of like has their own way of you know making art but also planning as well and I've still not found planner piece but I feel like once I started working on it like this I've gotten closer to planner piece I'm a lot more active in my planner than I used to be I used to spend so much money on planners and planner supplies and things like that stickers and pens and stuff that it's almost like the planner wasn't functioning the way a planner should because it was more about what the planner looks like and things like that so I've kind of gotten myself away from over committing myself to the look of the planner and more about the functioning of the planner but I still like my planner to look nice I still like it to be pretty I just don't need it to be overly pretty so here I'm just taking that um, slightly lighter color of teal and just putting like a drop shadow outline on it and I I kind of like how it it looks overall because it just has just enough color to it that it doesn't look plain and then I'm probably going to add just a, a, a drop shadow line here to divide the week from the notes I also like doing that too because then it kind of clarifies this is the note section and this is the weekly fill out section and so just to spruce it up a little bit and since this is my birthday month I do kind of want to do whatever I want with it and I do like recently I like these little starry cloud designs that I've been seeing I think they're so cute so I'm just gonna put a few little stars like that and then maybe put a moon over here now notice I'm just free handing this design I'm not this wasn't pre-planned this part wasn't I just figured I'd go ahead and just put a little bit of something in here so that it looks a little bit more doodly So there's that and then I could probably do something similar over here as well I'll put another cloud and the reason why I kind of decided to call this the magical plan with me is because you know a lot of what I do in my business as well as in my personal life is kind of what I see is spiritual or magical or something like that and I just like the vibe that it brings and because a lot of the stuff that I plan out is you know rituals circles tarot readings you know um, just overall magical and spiritual is kind of what I do on a regular basis and so my planner is a magical space for me all right now I just find it so therapeutic there we go it's nothing fancy but you know it's it's 
doodled on and to me that's more than enough doodling and because my birthday is this month I wanted to put something special and I looked and looked and I could not find a sticker that said happy birthday and I don't know why so I'm just going to find something that I can use for marking my birthday looking through this planner or sticker book I should say yeah I, I looked all through could not find anything that said happy birthday on it so I guess I'm just going to take I'm gonna take hmm should I stay with the color theme what if I take this dark one here I'm just going to put it right here, just like that, and then I'll use my, no, well, yeah. This is my number 10 jelly roll, and I'm just going to write my birthday. That way... It's pointed out and I love it I'm really excited for my birthday this year I'm gonna be 32 and um, I could go through and plan the whole month ahead but I'm not going to do that because I I'm gonna that's take the actual filling out takes me the longest so here we're just gonna go ahead and like I said I just already took a pencil and kind of planned out my design so I'm just going to take a pen outline everything Now I know some people are like thinking that you know my lines are wavy and things aren't straight and for me that's okay for me because I actually like seeing wavy organic lines like for me I think it's so cute to see things not perfect like that but if you are someone who does like lines to be perfectly straight and even and all that then that's something that the ruler comes really good and handy with you can um, measure everything and take your time with the pencil to make sure all of your lines are straight and even if that's the look that you're going for but for me I found I really just like it when it looks kind of almost messy because it just looks cute to me and it takes the pressure off of trying to make things look perfect. Oh, forgot the bottom lines here. And then I'm going to take, hmm, I'm going to take this one, this medium teal color again, and I'm going to write. content and just like a bold print and then I know I've been doing this for every month but I like I've been practicing with this style so I'm going to keep using it and one thing is that I know a lot of people will be like oh it's a different month and need a new design I'm not really changing the design up much I'm really just doing the same design but with different colors
there and I just wrote schedule in like a spread out cursive across content so it says content schedule I think it looks really cute that way and yeah that makes me that makes me happy and then since I got four colors here I'm going to color in my titles or my labels or whatever you want to call them with each of the four colors Call this one YouTube, and then this one will be Facebook. And then we'll have blog. Oh. Oh. Oops. Oh well. Blog and then newsletter. So these are my sections, and then I'll just go ahead and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then that's that page. So it's already starting to look ten times better than it than it did before. And like I said, if you kind of like already know what you're doing, it goes so fast. Especially if you're not trying to go for the whole perfect look thing. Because the perfect look thing will slow you down. And um I used to be like that, thinking that everything had to look perfect all the time, but I'm like, I just need to make sure that I know what the plan is. What's the plan, Sam? Like, And being that saving money has been really important for me this year, especially since my husband is the one that's um, bringing home the money right now. I mean, I'm, I'm bringing home a little bit with my business, but you know, he's still the main money maker. So, you know, I don't want to spend money that doesn't need to be spent trying to watch the spending and doing things like this, you know, really helps. And then this one I'm going to label. I'm going to use a different color than I did last time for the title. So I'm going to use this one. And I'll call this one 
creative projects. There, creative projects. And then we'll use Some days my hands are not as shaky and I can make some really, really straight lines and some days not so much. Today is one of those days where my hands are a little bit shaky. It could be from coffee, but it's okay. And then this will be writing. And then this will be um, painting and drawing. Alright, and then I'll just go ahead and add my stars for my bullet points. And like I said, when I'm done making this little video here, I'm going to go ahead and take my time to fill all this stuff out. But I do have to have my writing and then like my creative painting and drawing separate because, you know, they're, they're different projects. And then we'll flip this page. And then I'll go ahead and this will be the music playlist page. Oh, that line turned out pretty good, huh? Try that again. That turned out pretty good too. See, sometimes I get lucky I get my nice straight lines in. There. And then... Music. Play. List. All right. And then I'm going to use, oh, you know what, I want to use this one.
All right. And then, hmm. Well, I know what I've done the last couple months, and I kind of liked it, so we're going to do that again. I'm going to draw a couple of those clouds again. But we're going to make these ones really long. And this one's kind of a little tight. So it's not going to probably look as nice as I would have wanted it to, but it'll be okay. And draw some stars. There we go. And then we'll add some music notes down here. Hmm. All right, so we got a little bit of a music playlist going on here. Five, six. And then I'll fill that out. But first I'm going to take this darker teal color. I'm going to color in my music notes here. Now you can do, there's so many different kinds of spreads that anybody can do when, you know, doing the whole bullet journal thing or planner thing, you know, you can do trackers for habits or for projects or for saving money. There's just, there's so many different designs, so many different kinds of spreads and, you know, you can go ahead and do whatever it is that you need to make your planner or bullet journal or whatever it is that you're going to be using work for you. Whatever makes it enjoyable and fun for you. But the whole point is so that you can actually get stuff done. That's why, you know, I tell myself, you know, I don't want my spreads to take any longer than you know 
a couple minutes to create. That way I can spend more time planning and less time, you know, doodling. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do what I did before and just color in the labels. that one and then here's the last one and then there's that one and you know I'm going to actually take this darker color ah a wavy but judging ourselves here and kind of give it a little bit of a backdrop like I said sometimes my hands are a little shaky and sometimes I get it really nice but I try not to judge myself too much <laughs> and so that page is colored in and I just need to fill it out and then for the rest of the month Monday or each week that I have All I'm really going to do is color in the titles of the weekdays. And I'm just going to be using my two lighter colors for that. Alright, and then I'm going to take my medium teal and just go ahead and do that drop shadow. There we go. almost easier if I keep the black line on that one side of the marker there we go and I would do the same for all of the um, weeks ahead but I'm not going to trouble you with watching me get all that done but that is March 2021 and thank you all for joining me and watching me color in my pages and fill everything out well not everything I'm going to be doing the planning part um, probably here in a little bit after I get done here and but yeah 
Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed this. If there's something else that you want to see me do here in the future or if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down in the comment section down below. If you're interested in any of my um, monthly moon calendars or moon journal spreads, once again, they're available on my uh, website at amethystmoonflower.com in the product section. And you can download them as PDFs and print them off for yourself. And thank you all for joining me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, magical March. And, yeah, blessed be. Bye.